Hey, what is going on everybody? Jerma here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, gonna be playing with the Demo Man with the half Demo Knight setup. Gonna be using the Persian Persuader as the melee, the Splendid Screen, and the Lock and Load. Now, this video is gonna talk about not only the setup I'm using right now, but also the thought process, I guess, of using a minimum range, maximum range weapon set. And maximum range as in the class's maximum range, not, for instance, uh, the sniper rifle or something like the ambassador headshot or something like that. I'm just talking about minimum range, maximum range for that particular class. Going into more detail here, I'll talk about uh, two classes in particular that have this sort of setup that you can play with. But I'll talk about the demo man first. The lock and load is, for primary, the demo man's longest shooting weapon. I know that the Sticky Bomb Launcher fits into the category of shooting things across the entire map if you hold the button down, but just for this particular slot, the primary slot, Lock and Load shoots the farthest, farther than the Grenade Launcher. And the second part of this equation is my melee item. Playing as a Demo Knight, that's how you get a lot of kills, you get the guaranteed crit if you charge fast enough. But for the purpose of this video, let's think about the minimum maximum here. So at any given time, I can pull out that Lock and Load, and shoot as far as the demo man's primary can possibly reach. At the same time, I can pull out the Persian Persuader and kill somebody almost guaranteed with my melee item if I, if I catch them off guard. So you have this perfect world of range, damage, and accuracy that not very many classes can really say they have with a particular setup. And the reason why I brought up two classes in the beginning of the video is because the pyro fits here as well. If you're using the flamethrower and the flare gun, and even the extinguisher, you have all the bases covered that the half demo knight has. And I guess you can argue that, hey, well, the sniper kind of has that too. You can shoot people from across the entire map and kill them instantly, but you can also throw Jurati on them and bushwhack at them close range. That's true, but you gotta remember the sniper has a lot less health than these other two classes, so it's not really a guaranteed kill if you go in there with your bushwhacker as a sniper, you could actually get yourself smashed in, in the process. And after making this video and after trying to think about this topic, I really started to think, who else potentially has a min-range, max-range combo? And what I mean by this are classes who have core mechanics based around minimum range and maximum range. We already talked about the pyro and the demo man, how the half demo knight, you are incredibly guaranteed deadly up close, but you're also pretty deadly far away with the lock and load. The lock and load can kill a lot of people in one or two hits with that lock and load. So that's what I'm talking about here. And I can really only think of maybe one or two other options where this is even possible. But that's where you guys come in as well, because I'd like to get your thoughts on these types of things. You guys all know that. So in the comment section of this video, please leave me a comment telling me a potential minimum range, maximum range combo. There's a lot of items in this game, and I have only thought of maybe three or four different options, but I'm sure there are a lot of others as well. So leave me a comment, guys, and we'll keep this discussion going. And before this video comes to a close, I do want to bring up a very, very important PSA. I've only really touched upon this in Twitter and on Facebook, and I think in my Steam group as well, but I want to make a video about it. We'll add it into a video because I do find it to be very, very important. I've heard that there are some imposters around of me and using my name on Steam trying to get items from you guys, trying to say, oh hey, I need uh, t uh, two unusual hats for this video I'm doing uh, next week. I gotta be very, very clear on this, guys. I will never ask you for any items, ever for any reason. I'm never going to ask you guys for hats. I will never ask you guys for anything. So keep that in mind. If there's a guy named Jerma that talks to you and says, oh hey, uh, you got a nice unusual hat there. Uh, can I have it? Yeah, I'm doing a video tomorrow. Do, do not listen to them because that is absolutely not true. So I wanted to get that out of the way, I want to make sure you guys are aware of that, and that's going to wrap up the video. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys all next time. And of course, take care, everybody.